Hello everyone, this is BA Factor and Game Girl here. Hi all. We're going to do a uh, replay analysis of a game. I've, I, I'm, I did post this game from a first person perspective. I also want to do a, a replay of it. It was a pretty interesting game. I'm going to label this one Hunger Games. It was one of those um, unique free-for-alls where everybody is starving, everybody's in the same situation, and nobody's sort of taking it away. So there's a lot of carnage in this game, just a lot of going back and forth. Um, actually, since I recorded the original game from my perspective, there's a lot of action going on there, but I'm not doing very well. I actually don't do very well at all in this game. I do a pretty good job of defending, have some key, some key moments, but uh, yeah. And I thought that uh, everybody else in the game was just taking it away, but that's because I just couldn't get out from my own base. Everybody else was having the same problem, so it's quite interesting. So let's go ahead and get started. And this is also on dining only. I am going, this is a 10-player free-for-all map that I designed that has even mexes here. Uh, I'm going to be starting right here. I'll put it on single fast forward. Let's see here. I'm starting right here. And I'm actually, there's a player up here, a player up here, a player here, and a player here. Now I've got this separation, I've got this separation, I've got this separation, these are choke points. I have nothing right here, so this is where I'm thinking things are going to be coming from. So, we'll go ahead and get started, and I'm going to do a pretty, eh, it's a pretty standard build with my initial opening, but normally in free-for-alls, I like to tech really early, and this one, I decided I was going to mass a lot of units first, and what typically happens when you do that is you can easily take out one of your neighboring players, but then you open yourself up to be completely annihilated by one of your other neighboring players. I've had that happen a couple times. So uh, to start out with, um, I'm going to, let's see here, I'm going to try to secure my normal mexes. I like to try to get the water. I usually put AA down first, that way I can, uh, if for some reason he gets AA down and he starts building a mex and I, I come get sniped by a hummingbird, I can just send another one over there to get it because I have the AA. That's my goal. And it looks like who is this up here? Pax Kiesel, who I have a lot of problems with. He instantly sniped it before he even get that down, so he has decided to claim this for himself. So let's see here. I'm scouting out the light blue player. I do believe I did that a little bit earlier with the scout and saw that he was going early tech, and I wanted to go ahead and rush him hard. So with him, with him doing early tech, he is not going to have... He's not going to have a lot of defense for me to deal with, and I didn't see him building any PD up here. So I'm going to stream units over, try to hit him from this angle. I don't want to get near his commander, and take out his, take out his resources, take out as many units as I can, and just make it so that if he does get this tech tool up, he is just not going to be able to utilize it. That's my goal. And it really hurts when you take out someone early like that. They have to play catch-up the whole time. Yeah, I agree. So, uh, I do have it on everybody's perspective. Let's take a look at the rest of the map here for just a second. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get about the 415 mark, 430 mark. So, we know what I'm doing. I'm going to be rushing units to take out blue. We know that blue is early tech. You can see that. Pink is early teching also and has a pretty good comp. comp he's got a pretty good uh, complement here. And he's securing these mexes. Hmm. He's securing these mexes, he's securing these mexes, and he's secured these mexes. He's in a really good situation, and I, I just by his name and what he has right here, I, I already know from playing this I'm going to have a lot of problems with him, but if I, was, if I had scouted this properly, I would probably know that this is where my direction needs to be. Let's see, Brown. I can't really say what Brown's doing yet, but he looks like he's okay. He doesn't have a lot of ground forces, so... Makes me think he's not a real strong player because he could have been rushed early and taken out, but I could be wrong. That's just my take right now. Um, blue, taking early and producing a lot of units. Same situation as pink here. We got uh, white here. Mm, I don't really have a lot to say about him yet. Orange here, don't have a lot to say about him yet. Purple, no, this is kind of interesting. Purple, purple fezzle. Fezzle was giving Game Girl a little harassment in the uh, chat. He was saying, oh, look, the girl is here. Uh, that's okay, girls are easy to take out, yada, yada, yada. So I think he might be a target for Game Girl. What do you think, sweetie? 
Perhaps. Perhaps. And we got Game Girl. She is taking early. Also, you want to go ahead and tell us what you're doing here? Well, I've already got white and green looking at me. And I've been floundering for several games lately, and this game I reverted back to a build order I'd been successful with that helps me with the power. Okay. Looking good. So what's your strategy? What are you going to try to do? Well, since they're coming in already just a tiny bit, I'm going to build a few point defenses and get out some tanks just to protect my area from their little, little wandering bots. Okay. I'm going to look at that. I see what you're saying here. Okay. Yeah, point defense. I do like that you put the walls up. That's really good. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And good complement of tanks. Although, the fact that you have so many hummingbirds around, I would probably uh, not make spinners in, in lieu of making more tanks so you could have a little bit more punch on your ground force because you already have air covered. That's what I would do. Yeah, that's a great idea. I didn't think about that earlier. And this is good. I, I do like, I think they have the best fabricators. The air fabricators are definitely the best, and that certainly fits your game style. I'm a little surprised that you didn't go out here. You usually go for the water. It's a bit far away, and uh, I found that I'm next to it, and I'm trying to do both. Okay. It's just not my favorite thing to do. Okay. All right, well, let's go ahead. We've covered all the players. I'm going to go back to this. Spot I was in, and we'll see here. We'll put it back on to me for the time being, and we'll speed this up just a minute. I'm kind of glad that I hit this guy early. It looks like he was making some boom boss. He might have been trying to make a run. Typically, when I um, I typically am pretty prepared for boom bots. The fact that I think I'm one of the only players that makes a lot of mines, but I usually have mines in a situation where I can run a commander behind them, and boom bots come in and just can't do anything against it, and I typically have enough docks around my commander to help out. Boombots are easy to stop, but they can surprise you from now to now, every once in a while. Now, I want to stay away from his commander and move around. I don't have a lot of units. I don't have a lot of units, but I do want to do as much damage as possible, and I see, you know, I do see this path here, so I'm just going to try to take out his economy. That's my goal, and as many boombots as I can. Given the situation right here, if you look back at my base, you can see that pink is starting to uh, to scare me a little bit. That being said, I gave up on attacking light blue. I figured I have done enough damage to him. And even though he's teching up early, he can't catch up. I can't do anything about this. I'm going to lose all these units. Uh, I should have brought Hummingbird down to take that out. But I, I opted to just let this uh, little sortie do what it can and address the uh, the bigger threat right now, which I thought was the bigger threat, and that's pink. That's my game plan. So let's go forward a little bit more. See, I do, it's kind of, I sort of wean away down there, and I see pink is all over the place, so I want to scout him out. See, he has a pretty good army. I see he has, and this is what scares me. Definitely, definitely scares me. Um, pink has, is going to be getting shellers. And I know that for a fact. I've seen this a lot. Docks with spinners and shellers, very deadly. And I am only 10% done with my tier 2. I am in trouble. My strategy has completely failed. And I am in trouble. So I need to address this. I decide I'm going to try to rush them and try to take out as much as I can. Swing the docks around back. If I can take out his tier 2 engineer, that will be a, a good win for me. And I fail at that. And then, yep, you saw that uh, saw that shell come out. That's what's going to be happening. Lost most of my force. It's not looking pretty for B8 Factor, that's for sure. Let's go ahead and put some mines up here. He's probably going to have radar where he's at. He's fairly close to me. Yeah, he's probably going to have radar. I'll take out a few more. Sh uh, I did try to snipe him. Let's see here. I tried to snipe him. I can't see it right here, but I heard flak. So somewhere around here, he has flak. I did drop his commander down. That's going to put him a little bit on the defensive. You know, sometimes when you're behind, getting aggressive can actually work for you very well. I mean, really good players will probably see through it, but getting aggressive and putting somebody on the defensive will slow them down. Now, hindsight, those bombers would have been better off for sure taking out um, some, some shells. That would have slowed him down. I decided to try to snipe him. That didn't work. 
uh, my game plan on this, and I'm behind, is to lay mines up here. And the reason I'm doing that is he has these choke points right here to go through, and he also he has these mexes right here. So that being said, a decent player is going to either come through here or come through here because he's going to want to guard his mexes. He might come through here, but I'm, I, I will lay mines on that side as well uh, eventually. Uh, what I'm going to try to do is get tier 2 up and some sniper bots and just try to guard myself. The mines, even if he sees them, can serve a purpose. While his units are shooting the mines, my units are shooting his units. So I'm going to pivot back and forth off of my mines to try to stay alive and let my tech get up and try to get my resources up. That's my goal. I'm also going to lay some mines on the back side because I have angered Light Blue down here and I, I, I don't, I'm not too scared of him based off of what I saw, but I do want to, I did see that he was going boom bots, so if he comes in I'd like for him to be surprised by that or at least have it slow him down. So that's, that's my goal. Here we are, 12 minutes here. Speed it up just a little bit. We'll jump ahead. One, we'll see. I'm pulling back here. I do believe um, I should have done a little bit better job. I was making, I was a little paranoid at this point. I know that I am behind an economy. Let's see here. 145, 195. I'm not horribly behind, but I'm certainly behind. And that, this number right here will start to skyrocket as this tier 2 gets up. So I've got to, I've got to do something to get mine up. Forward. Forward. Looks like he's giving me a little bit of reprieve. He's probably being attacked by somebody else, or he's gearing up. Let's see. I bet you. Yep, he was. That's what was happening. He was being attacked by somebody else. This blue player. Again, turtling in. He's kind of a cicada player. He's kind of making a little short footprint and sending out units when he has a mass. Uh, pink is in a tough, tough situation. Look at this. Pink. Poor Pink. He's got this guy coming in with Navy. He's got this guy coming in with ground uh, sorties. And uh, he doesn't have an easy way to get resources from either one of these players. Green over here will eventually probably scare away that. So it looks like I'm probably going to be his target to get resources because I probably, from his perspective, look to be the weakest and easiest to take out. And he wants my mexes. This one I tried to snipe his commander. Yep, there's the flak. I didn't see it before. Oh, I didn't see it before. I guess my command, my raid. Nope, it didn't. That, so that was that exactly what happened there. All right, put it back on me. And go forward to a little action. I finally got some uh, tier two out. I just want to scare him a little bit. S scare him, poke in, poke in, poke in. See what I can snipe. Hopefully catch something out of position, take out a few mexes, just irritate him. That's pretty much my, my goal. Um, again, I like to be aggressive. Even when I'm behind, I, I'm, I think aggression works out for you. Move in here. Run in through it. See a scout. I saw that he had some shellers in the back. How are we doing 17 minutes? What's our next one? Was it 22 minutes? Uh, 22 minutes, I think I'm going to stop and take a look at some other stuff going on. Go forward. All right. White's coming in on me. I'm not too scared of that force. They're moving kind of quick, so they're probably not tier two. I have mines up. Let's see. I don't believe he even sees the mines, so he probably runs over them, and I have some tier two, so I'm not horribly scared. If I remember correctly, this is the leftover force from him taking out light blue. This is what scares me right here. Here comes the attack. Uh, we'll go ahead and open it up so you can see it. Yep, shellers, doxes. I'm going to slow this down so we can actually watch it. Put this off. Now, my goal here, my goal here is to snipe these. That's what I want to do. Um, I don't have that many snipers, and they're spread out, and these shellers will make, will make mincemeat of them real quickly. So I'm trying to come up here where I can get a good snipe of these guys, and if I can do that, I can pull back behind my mines and easily hold off this force. Uh, that's my that's my plan. Pink and red, not not real good colors zoomed up here. We'll keep an icon view. I think he sees it. I'm sniping off some of those pulling back. But he is not going to relent. I do not want to get these. 
I am trying to keep these guys alive. You see, he's tearing me up. I am certainly in a bad, bad situation. Certainly in a bad situation. I've got to retreat. I'm gonna kind of go around. I think I'm gonna go around the back and this side now and try to get these. If I can kill the shellers, everything will be right. And they fail. I'm not very good with bomb boom bots. I didn't do a very good job. I'm gonna try it again this time with doxes. See if I can get it. See why he's shooting these mines. I'm shooting his units and he's thinning them out. He had a much superior force than me, and I'm I'm holding in there. Doxes fails also, but I do eliminate some of his doxes. And you can see here he's he's whittled down some. He's got to pull back and and uh, regroup. The attrition rate has, uh, has dropped, it's giving me a little bit of time to rebuild here. And I'm going to go try to get my nexus back. I certainly need the resources, that's for sure. Alright, and uh, let me pause it here and, and just say a few things. So, I know I'm doing horribly. I know that I have horrible resources. I have enough of game awareness to know that. Look at this. The, uh, the players are taking off, and mind you, I'm at 22 minutes here. We don't have a lot of players missing. We have uh, light blues gone, but we don't have a lot of players missing. Usually at 22 minutes, there's three or four players gone. So um, I'm going to look around and see what's going on here. My perspective in game is that I'm doing horribly. I have bad econ. Let's hold on and try to regroup. At a desperation, I decide to build a Hulkins. Used to be Hulkins weren't that great, but if I can scout and pummel, if I can, if I can get that Hulkins on a good shot of his um, shellers, I can hurt him, and that's what I'm going to try to do. And I'll also try to get these mines back up and see what I can do there and get my resources going. That's that's definitely key, and then we'll go from there. But let's see. As I said, very interesting at 22 minutes. We have a lot of players left, and even though they feel horrible in the game, uh, when I, under my perspective, and you can watch that from another uh, video, let's see how it looks here. I thought Pink was completely dominating, and he's not. He definitely has a good economy, but he still, as I said earlier, has to worry about this. Let's worry about this. This game was certainly, as I said, a Hunger Games. Blue and brown, looks like they're warring. Blue and pink are warring, I know. Uh, green, I don't know what green's been doing, but I do know that he's taken out pink's resources here, and I'm probably going to have to worry about him. White and light blue were warring, and white has taken out light blue. White has a pretty nice force. Building some unit cannons here, that's very nice. Orange, kind of hunkered in. Probably in about the same situation I'm in. He does have orbital. And purple, I don't know what to say about purple yet. And let's see how Game Girl's doing. Right. Yeah, it was about this time I realized I really need some more metal. And the only way I'm going to get it is to take someone out. Okay. Let's so I start scouting. Let's see that. I'll take a look. Can you north the map up? Yeah, I can do that. So, so I check, check out green, green and notice some, just a few hummingbirds can't really get in, so I've, I'd rather not lose so many, so much air through that. And I check out white, and I check out purple. And I realize purple's going to be the easiest one to take out right from the get-go, so I can increase my economy. Okay, I want to stop. I want to look at your base for just a second. I looked at everybody else's base. I'm gonna look at yours. So scrutiny. Scrutiny, yes. As I said earlier, the uh, there's not a whole lot of need for the spinners. I do like your defenses, definitely. I definitely like your defenses. Um, that is a pivot point. If you had more tanks, that's a pivot point. If someone had come on, on you to to move your units around and hold the ground, I like that. You have plenty of. I can't. Game Girl likes to hide her bombers. She is a cicada player. She makes a ton of units and then strikes whenever the uh, it's time to hatch. She is hiding. I have no idea how many she has, but she definitely has a good uh, amount of hummingbirds to support them. Purple looks like he would be easy snipe. You're right. I concur with green. He's got a lot of AA here. And uh, white, I don't know. I personally uh, would have liked to have taken out white if I'm in your position just because he's so strong. But the fact that I think purple is definitely a good a good spot, though. 
Well, I was scouting with the orbital satellites, and I couldn't get into white with that to see his base. I because see. he had so many umbrellas, and that's when I saw purple. So you had I'm more going. intel on purple. Yeah, so I'll just go check out purple first. Okay. I'm going to go for it. I want to see that. All right, I yeah, see it. Right here. I, so there goes my satellite look finding him. Yep. There, you spotted his commander. Easy kill for the guy who didn't think girls could do anything. <laughs> you have. That's why you're attacking purple. Now the real truth comes out. No, he was. Maybe. Maybe. Let's take a look at it. Okay, so you snipe purple. That's going to open up some resource gain. And I went right back to secure that base. So your plan is to do that. You're going to go secure this base and run two bases right now. Okay. Yes. Alright, I'm going to switch it back to myself. I want to see how that Hulkins did. Yes, I do too. I was uh, I was not doing very well this game, that's for sure. Let's see. I did forward it a little bit. I'm going to rewind. Okay, here we go. Here's an attack, so we'll get to see. That's where we left off. White had come in. Blue is coming in. Or I'm sorry, pink is coming in. I stopped that force, I remember. And I started building the Hulkins. Alright, here we go. Keep it a little bit forward. Now, I'm going to go ahead and harass him a little bit. I do want to engage him. It's a little bit, again, I'm, I'm a pretty aggressive player. And as I stated earlier, I'm, I have, I'm going to try to snipe with these Geelys. Before, when I was attacking him, the uh, I had them up here with the force and he was attacking him. This time, I'm bringing him over here so I can move them up. Move these guys back here like I did before. Have his force come in. I'm going to try to bring these around and snipe his... his uh, his units. That's that's my goal. You got this Hulkins. See that separation there. Scout them to see who I want to hit next. We'll see this Hulkins go in. Boom. Let's see what we did there. Looks like you kind of scared him. Yeah, I think I did. I want to see that again. Nice. Scout him, find out where his uh, shellers are. That's what I'm really scared about. Second shot comes in. See that? I think, well, you know what? It might not have been me that scared him, but I do think that the Hulkins combined on my units would have made mincemeat of that force. Look at this. Poor, poor, poor pink. He's got blue coming in on one side. I'm going to try to snipe him on the other side with uh, boom bots. And I'm trying to hold him off here. He thought he was going to get my resources. So I'm going to watch this from his perspective just for a minute. He's a pretty good player. Not much AA here. Very, very big problem. Oh, I see why. He's got, he's got hummingbirds, but still. He didn't do a very good job of that. He stopped my attack. Holding its tracks. He's got a unit cannon going up. That's why he pulled back. Again, Hunger Games. Look at this. Blue attacking pink, pink attacking red, purple attacking brown, white attacking orange, and this is shortly after you snipe purple. So we're, we're at 26 minutes, and we have way too many players in this game for 26 minutes on our normal free-for-alls. Everybody's getting hungry. Everybody's trying to secure some resources. That's getting ready to change really quick. Yes, I think you're right. I'm going to speed this up. Put it back on me. That's you taking out purple, I have no doubt. What is my next game plan here? I see all these uh, orbitals and I decide I've got to do something about it. Why it's coming in on me. I do remember now from the uh, initial recording of the first person perspective of this, I, we were talking back and forth and I said I was going to go ahead and try to take out white after I had scouted pink and I think uh, you ended up saying nope you wanted white so you went and took out white so I believe the next next zap we see we'll find out when this disappears I am gonna just move all in on pink I'm a, I've been harassed by him enough I need to deal with that I need resources really bad so I'm gonna go ahead and move all in on him I scouted him out and saw, and yeah, I just really am not very good with these boom boss. I cannot get anything done. 
I scouted him out and saw that he was fairly weak from all the attrition of fighting. I'm going to go ahead and move in and try to snipe his commander. I don't want him to unit can at mine. So he's going to unit can to flank me. And, yep, taking him out. Now, I can see why Pink made a lot of orbital. He's got another player off the top. I can also see why he attacked me. He thought it might be easy resources. He's a very, he was a good player, I thought. But he got hit from multiple sides. Probably should have done a little bit better job identifying who would have been an easy target. If this is the case that's happening here, going around... Well, you know what? Blue was here, so I don't know. Pink was just in a tough spot. I'll, I'll just leave it at that. He was a good player, and he was in a tough spot. Okay. Let me go back here. I'll open it up, see. With, with me taking out Pink... Okay. You have something you wanted to... Yeah, this is this is when the, uh, you said you were going to take out white. Well, I knew I could get white a little easier than the green at that point, so I start scouting him a little differently since my orbital didn't get in. Let's see this. And I sent, sent hummingbirds in from different directions around his base. Yep, see that. Seeing what I could see. I could see part of his army going the other way with another group. Yeah. Pretty sizable army. Yeah, so then I'm getting ready to send in from the other direction, and I catch a little bit of glimpse of oh. all those unit cannons. Yes, that's a threat. So he's got to go. But he wasn't very well protected. See, that's that's interesting, because when we, whenever I was, I'm red over here, um, after I took pink out, I really wanted to take white out, because I thought he was going to be easy based off of what I saw here. Little did I know, he's actually had a pretty sizable force, and I probably would have failed taking him out, so I'm glad that you ended up doing that. These unit cannons would have probably killed me and his force. So, you take out White. So, now you've got two players out, and you got a nice, you got a nice situation here, looking at this. Uh, let's open this back up and see. So, White's gone. Purple's gone. What I typically try to do, for resource-wise, is make a triangle, and you have that. Now, normally, normally I like for them not to be some sort of uh, structure or you know break in my in my triangle when I'm holding onto three bases. But since you're mostly air and can get here and get here quickly and don't have as many ground troops, that works out for you. But that's pretty good. And it looks like you're pretty safe on this side of the map. Blues. I don't know, he's really turtling in. Brown doesn't look like a whole lot of threat. And uh, green's probably going to be your next biggest, uh, you know, biggest headache, it looks like, based off of that. I believe you ended up taking him out, though. Yes, I did. Let's take a look at that. Let's take a look at that. I say that, but he certainly, he certainly gave me a rod. I took out pink, if you remember, and I was going to try to secure this. I see blue has his mind on it. Uh, looking at it when I was here and I wanted to secure it, then I saw brown here and green here and blue trying to do it. And I thought, you know what, that's going to be a mistake. Why don't I go that, this direction? And then, this happens. Leviathan's off my shore. What the hell? How am I going to stop that? If you've seen any of my other replays, you know that uh, I, I do horrible against Navy, against ground. I just end up losing lots of units. So, I don't know. I, I'm losing my tier 2 buildings, I'm losing my uh, orbital buildings. This is, this is a pain. I decide to go ahead and um, get air, switch to bombers. I'm just taking a, taking a stab at this and I'll build another one here and I assist it. I'm going to try to get bombers out to take this out. That's, that's my game plan. Here we go. I see I've only got one AA boat. Great. Take it out and then I'm going to be able to easily clean up the uh, the rest of the battleships here, not without them doing some some good damage on me. I'm also I'm also going to move my ground force in and try to snipe him if I can. That's that's the plan. Decided to give up on this uh, this base here because I just feel like it's going to be too much of a fight, and I'm in a really bad situation from my bad play earlier. I w first time I've been able to take out a pretty good navy, but that's probably because he wasn't a decent player. He didn't have the right support for it. If he had hummingbirds or he had a, the right amount of uh, AA boats, I would have had a hard time there. So I'm, I'm out of him. I'm going to try to take him out. 
you kind of get lucky here. I do get lucky here. Look at this. Easier than I thought. Easier than I thought. He wasn't a super great player. So I did get a little lucky. You know what? I think the combination of players in this game are what made it sort of interesting. And that's that's what you get with a free-for-all player. A uh, free-for-all game, I'm sorry. You get, you get some medium players. You get some turtle players. Um, you know, you get some... Uh, you get some good players. Uh, I had a nice good player here, and we had some good good times. And a player here that had a sizable force. I wouldn't say that he was he played excellent excellent or anything, but he did he did actually do me a, a favor by attacking pink. And uh, so now we've got green gone. Let's take a look at this and see where we're at. Um, red me try. My goal here now is to get as much resources as I can and recoup. Brown, yeah. Brown's just not doing so well. He started out well, but now he's trying to do more than his resources can handle, and he doesn't have much of a ground force. Blue, Cicada player, kind of like Game Girls, is making a ton of ground units, and this is going to be a force to be reckoned with for somebody. Um, I end up scouting that out eventually, see it, and decide I'm going to do a nuke since I saw nuke, nuke defense. That was my plan. And let's see, let's take a look at Game Girl here. North it up. Green's gone. I took over white space right there and secured it. Got some intel. Yep, that's good. And then moved over to the right. Let's take a look. When I'm getting mechs after I've killed something, I like to protect it. Yep, that's definitely a good plan. Radar, flak, turret. Okay. I like this. I like this a lot. Do a little protection. Yep. A little intel. I can see brown is around. I don't think I see blue at all at that point. Let's take a look at what your perspective is. So, I mean, I'm going to say something about this. I, I do like this. This is a fire base. This is a base away from your main base. Um, I like getting some structures out, a little bit of defense. That's a pretty excessive defense, but hey, what the heck. Uh, I know you probably get a radar here eventually or a turret or something. I mean, I... I watched you build fire bases before. Why this is why this is good is let's see, your main base is over here, your main resource is here, your fire base far away. This becomes this becomes a headache for one of the other players. Um, it's a source of a headache and they will address it and it's far away from your resources, it's far away from your main base. Now a good player might try to loop around to your main base and snipe you. That might try to happen, but still this is a headache. This also, I'm guessing that you have patrol set in this area. Look at base. That's also a nice headache. Let's jump forward. I want to show that. There's a lot of patrol I have going around there. Yep. This is a... Go ahead. It ate all of Brown's metal. Okay, let's see what he had before. Yep. That, that, is a, that is definitely a source of a headache for, for a lot of players. I've seen people do this with docks. I've seen them do it with, with uh, tanks and spinners. Uh, what, you, know, you have this source of a headache here, and as you put these on patrol, you're not utilizing a lot of use sources a lot of resources here, but you're at the same time aggravating everybody else's re, uh, resources. So you, and with little resources input for you on these units, you're aggravating their ability, plus it, it's kind of a mind game with them. They see this, and to address it, if they move a large army out, they're, to, they're going to have to move the army around to kill all this stuff, and it takes a lot of time. So oftentimes people just think of this as a no man's land, and they leave it away and try to think of something else. Meanwhile, it gives you a staging ground to attack them, or it gives you free resources, which 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 is very nice. So fire bases def definitely a big plus. And your main base, your main base is well protected. You have lots of flak everywhere. Um, you could have more ground units, I would think. Well, you know that's not my favorite thing to. Not your favorite thing. 